We're here with Franco Bertoloni, who just won the level four of the Hollywood Tinseltown Open Futurity here at the Rainy Classic. Franco, done for whiskey. I mean, it was huge, dude. You totally knocked it out of, par out of the park. Marked a 223 and a half. Brian Bell, your, your barn mate, you know, you ride with Brian Bell every day. You just beat him by, I mean, a small margin. How much uh, heck are you going to give him when you get back home? Oh, no, I always, we always play in at home. And, and Brian, he told me before, I tried to beat you. I said, just try hard, man. <laughs> 23, 23 and a half is a pretty, pretty nice score for those three-year-olds, especially the first time you show. And I'm very happy and very proud of him. He was, he was really, really good. I, I, I try to never over show my horses and uh, overdo it the first time I show. And I, I just do my pattern, my, 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 my run, and I see what, what is coming. And th today was really good. It comes pretty good. And, uh, you Brazilians seem like you're taking over, man. I mean, is it, you got to get to take, tone it down a little bit here after a while, or are you just going to go full bore? Well, we try hard every every time, you know. I'm I'm proud of those guys did good too, you know. But it's here is tough, you know. Joe, here is you know one day one year, making one of some Brazil, another year in America. Last year I, I lost the tour to just run off. So that's that's the that's a horse show, you know. I I'm, I'm I'm happy for them. I happy for me, and if we see the next one. What are gonna happen? Well, again, Franco, great job. Your horse really looked good. Looked happy out there, and uh, you know, good luck at the futurity. Thank you. That's making me happy that I, I think I have a good one and just try to don't screw up and make it, make it still making him happy and, and be preparing him good for the next show. We're here with NRHA Million Dollar Rider Brian Bell, who just marked a 222 for the Reserve Championship in the Hollywood Tinseltown Open Futurity here at the Tulsa Rainy Classic. Brian, smoke and run, dude. I mean, look like he drug his butt and look pretty good turning. What'd you think your run? Um, that, he was pretty cool. Uh, he turned around big time both ways, uh, circled good, stopped good, and rolled back. Um, this horse was came from the legacy sale. Uh, Billy Williams bought him uh, for one of his customers, and I watched Billy ride it like uh, 200 times. <laughs> and then I decided that I needed to have him, and uh, Jim Cruz bought him, and uh, you know he's just been a wonderful horse ever since. Um, he got hurt earlier this year, had a couple of couple of months off, and uh, you know came back strong and never missed a stride. Now you say you bought the horse for Billy Williams. Uh, you know he rides out of Cardinal Ranch, just where where you ride, ride and train. Uh, Franco Bertoloni, who uh, just won, he marked 23. He was a little bit better than you today. Do you feel that you let America down at all because you let Brazil win? Um, I think the judges let America down because I did my part and, uh, you know, just because Franco has got a fancy name and I'm not just like a four letter name, uh, they shouldn't let him beat me because of that. I mean, if my name was Brian Baloney, it would be different. You'd probably be winning a little bit more. Yeah, like, I mean, I'd be like 227. Um, oh, Bertoloni, Baloney, you know. Yeah, just roll off the tongue yeah. a little better. I mean, Bale is like, ugh, <laughs> you're done. <laughs> yeah, it just stops. It's just yeah, it stops. I mean, uh, you know, I, I think that they, you know, I need like a fancy Brazilian name or a fancy Mexican name or, you know. Yeah, I don't really think there's much we can do about that. It other, might be Brian Gonza Gonzalez next time I come in. Yeah, that might be good. That or, might be or good. Smith. Schmidt's always, that's a good, strong because German I, name. Because I'm the Schmidt. <laughs> I'm the Schmidt. Oh, the Schmidt. The there you Schmidt. go. That's yeah. right. That's right. Well, Brian, awesome job. Uh, your horse looked good. Like I said, even even though you got beat, uh, looked really good, and we hope to see you at the fraternity uh, knocking it out of the park, man. He'll, he'll be there at the fraternity. I won't make it so easy on Franco next time. Yeah, I wouldn't, because you know when you guys get home, he's just going to be... Uh... Yeah, the Brazilian thinks everything's better anyway in Brazil. I mean, i, I got to, you know, keep him knocked down. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Well, again, good uh, good luck at the fraternity, and it was exciting to watch, man. <laughs> Thank you. We're here with Gabriel Diano, who just won the Level 3 of the Hollywood Tinseltown Open Fraternity here at Tulsa Rain Classic. Gabriel had an awesome run. Oops, it's a spook. Looked really cool out there, man. What would you think your run? Oh, it was great. It was great. I mean, it's always hard when you go show for the first time, see if you did a good job in the warm-up pen, but he was amazing. I mean, make my job really easy. 
in the Chopin. Now, we were visiting earlier in the week uh, about the recent show that was in, in Brazil where uh, Jason Van Lanham, Casey got to go over there, and Shannon Raymond and show. And you said that uh, it seems like uh, down there in Brazil and Argentina, it, it's really getting exciting. Like, guys are really getting into the into the raining. Um, you know, tell us a little bit about that. You know, how, how uh, what do you think is uh, going to be the future for, for the raining down there? I think that was a great, great idea. I mean, people get really excited to see like Jason and all those good riders going down there. That experience for sure bring new, new people for the raining. I mean, I talked to the Argentinian, they were, they were second and they were so exciting. The guys from Paraguay, they, we are only saying that maybe there's five training in the whole country. They did good too. So everybody is exciting. Everybody is they want more and more and more. I think that was great for the for raining, and he's gonna bring a lot of new people for the for the industry for sure. Like you said, this is the first time you showed your horse. You, you know, th this week we really learned a lot about how to prepare him, get him ready. What uh, what's the next show for you? We are going to Vegas uh, and try to show him. Maybe not that hard. Try to show him nice there and get ready for the big one. That is my idea with him. I think it's now that I show one time, I think I got, I know what, what I need to do for the next one and I think it's going to be better. Well, again, congratulations, Gabriel, and awesome run and good luck uh, in Vegas. Thank you. Thank you, guys. We're here with Fernando Salgado, who just won the Level 2 in the Hollywood Tinseltown Open Futurity at the Tulsa Rain Classic. Fernando, good job, man. You won the Level 2 in the Developing Futurity on Wednesday. Then you knock it out of the park again today on Saturday in the Open Futurity. Dude, you're really doing great. What was, uh, how did it feel in there, man? I heard your horse just drug his butt. Yeah, that was, it's been a great week for us. And uh, the Gnome Pro won the Level 4 yesterday, too, so... That horse is, I love him, he was real, real good. I uh, maybe show him a little too soft, but he stopped one three times and uh, I had a big uh, minus one overturn, so I'm very happy with him. Now, uh, this horse is owned by Ryan and Megan Humphrey, um, and I was talking to Megan earlier and she said the plan might change, that uh, she might show this horse. What do you think of that? Mm -hmm. She better buy a, buy a seat belt to hold on those rollbacks. He's pretty fast. <laughs> well, he does. He looks like a pretty physical guy, and uh, you've got him really, really broke. You're on a win streak. You had uh, really a lot of success at the Viterdi this year. Um, what's, uh, what's the game plan for the rest of the year for this horse? Right now, uh, we, I'm going to Congress with those two horses, him and the yellow mare that Jack won the non pro yesterday, and then probably go to the big Viterdi. That's right, Jack Meadows uh, also marked pretty high yesterday, 23 and a half. Uh, so you get to take the reins on that one. Then you have this Palomino. I mean, you're going to have a lot of yellow running around there pretty fast at the next horse show. Yeah, I'm very, very excited to go to the Congress. Um, now I'll go home, give them a week off, and start slow again. And uh, I'm very excited to show them. Well, Fernando, you're always exciting to watch in the pen. And uh, good luck at the next horse show, bud. Thank you so much. Thank you.